Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. My name is Stephanie. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. We are going to dive into the morning mindset to help you get on track. Maybe your morning started hours ago. Maybe you're just waking up. Maybe it's afternoon. It doesn't really matter, but the point is I want to help you get your mindset on track so you have a great day. So as you're tuning in, I would love to know who watched my live yesterday. I did a couple of them, but we talked about the coffee bean. And so I would love to know if you listened, did you really take into effect or take into account or think about how you respond in environments, if you are a carrot, a hard-boiled egg, or a coffee bean. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to yesterday's live, check out the coffee bean, because all day, even our girls were going, you have to be a coffee bean. Uh, We had friends that watched it at church last night. The girls were telling their friends, you have to be a coffee bean. And so uh, it really is a great book. And we have a winner of one of these books today. So Ashley Porter you are the winner of the coffee bean book. And how she won is she tagged a friend below, somebody who she felt like maybe needed the message, they needed to join the Keto Mom page, get plugged into the community, because I'm going to tell you, here on the page, it's not just about giving you recipes or giving you keto tips and then say, see you later. Like the point of this page is to help you on your journey and your mindset, all areas of life, Hopefully I, we, I say me and my husband, because he's someday, actually he should really join us in the mornings again instead of, instead of sitting on the other side of the computer. I should grab him a chair and plop him right here because he has great wisdom and insight. But I uh, want you to realize that this page is to encourage you in all areas of your life. That's why we start with reading. And you might be like, I haven't read a book since high school. Perfect. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. Welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets community. It's time to open your mind. It's time to become wiser. It's time to realize that your thoughts become things. Your thinking is powerful. Where you're at today is a result of your thinking. Have you ever thought of that? So if you want to lose some weight, let's figure out what you're thinking about. If you want to lose some fat, if you want to get stronger, healthier, look a certain way. Let's figure out what is up here to help you with the rest of your body. So Ashley Porter, I need your address. If you're interested in, and you want to win a book or have some prizes, and we'll be doing some fun things, whether it's ketones or books, here's what I need you to do. Press the share button. Sharing is caring. And invite a friend. So tag one of your friends or your sisters or your mom or co-workers below and say, you should join the Keto Mom community. It's not just about keto, but it's going to help you in all areas of your life. So this is the book that Ashley Porter is receiving. If you didn't watch the live, uh, go check it out. You can always go to ketomomsecrets.com, ketomomsecrets.com, click on recipes, how to get started, book club, ketones. I drink ketones. I'm drinking my ketones this morning. I love the orange one. If you've never tried my mom fuel, Uh, post trial in the comments and we need to chat. If it didn't work, I wouldn't be drinking it eight years later. What does it do? It helps me be a better mom. So I tell people, listen, I drink ketones every day. It brings me joy. It helps me. It gives me ketones every day. It helps me with my energy, my focus, fat loss, mood, even sleep later. Like ketones are incredible. We can talk more about it later. Post trial in the comments and we will chat. Every mom needs ketones. For sure, dads, but every mom. And if you're not a mom, okay, everybody. All right. Actually, side note, I was just talking to my brother. He's a firefighter. Well, he cuts trees, and he's a firefighter, and he does a lot of things like my dad does. And he came to our house yesterday, and he's like, I need some of your ketones. I'm in a fat loss challenge. I want to beat all of the firefighters. And we really had an incredible conversation about people in the medical field, especially people that are out saving lives. And so 
uh, I hopefully get to go and speak to all of the firefighters and help give them insight of making better choices, the importance of being healthy because they're saving lives, right? And also taking care of their own body. So side note, if you are in the medical field and you are constantly helping other people, this will help you help other people. He's like, I need to lose some weight and I need some more energy and I need to be able to focus and function as I'm saving lives. Does that make sense? All right, post trial in the comments. All right, here's, here's what we're actually doing. We're starting this book. It's a big book. It's an incredible book, The Power to Change. A lot of you are getting your book. Some, or some of you got your books yesterday. Some are coming in the mail today. I said I would start this on Monday. I don't know what the date is. If you're randomly watching this, uh, remember, all of our book videos, our mindset videos are on ketomomsecrets.com. But we'll start this Monday because most of you will have your book. There's an audible book or you can tune in here and I will read it to you. I'm not going to physically read the book. I'm going to give you an overview of the chapter and the action step for you to take. How do you have life change? How do you have change in your life? How do you get from where you are today to where you want to go? You actually have to take action on it. You have to learn something and put it into action. You have to learn something and put it into action. You can't just learn and expect it to work. So we start this on Monday. Do you know what the date is on Monday? Monday. Monday. Do you know what the date is? Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> if today is the 15th, is today the 15th? Oh, 16th. I don't even it's, know what today is. It's Thursday. 20th. The 20th. I think that's Monday. Just tune in. All right, this is what I'm going to talk to you about today. It's another coffee bean book, but I got this one first and I was like, how in the world can I talk to people about how to be a coffee bean if we didn't actually go through the first book? So I'm just gonna read a couple things to you. This is super fun because it's 111 ways to be a coffee bean. Now listen, I'm telling you, seriously go back and watch yesterday's live. It was February 15th, if you needed to know that. Uh, because in general, you don't have to have this book. I'm going to, I mean, you should go get the book because it's really great, insightful. Listen, if you want your teenagers, or it doesn't even have to be teens, preteens, kids, there's a kid's book to this. Uh, this is something that you're going to hear. And you're going to, you're not going to be able to go through life and, and not think about a carrot, a hard boiled egg, or a coffee bean. Like it's something that you have an awareness to. And then now in different environments, you're going to be like, Am I a carrot? Am I weak? Am I a hard-boiled egg? Am I angry? Am I frustrated? Or am I going to be a coffee bean and I'm going to change the environment that I'm in? So how in the world do we become a coffee bean? Here's a couple things as you go throughout your day because you should all want to be coffee beans in your work environment, in your home environment. Like you don't want to be the one that's weak and backs down, gets frustrated, gets hard, gets angry. Like you want to be the coffee bean. You want to be the one that's going into environments and you're changing it, right? You want to walk in with a smile and excitement, even though sometimes you might have to go, I get to do this. And you might not really want to, but you get to. And as you walk into certain environments, I want you just to be aware. Are you letting other people control you and control your emotions? Or are you about to dominate the environment so that you can rise other people up. So here's some fun little things. How do you become the coffee bean? Maybe you're like, listen, I try. And then I walk in and I'm so frustrated. Or, uh, the other people. No more. You're the coffee bean. You're about to go into the environment. And I don't even know. All right. Number one, create from the inside out, not the outside in. So don't let the environment or situation transform you. As the coffee bean, you have the power inside of you to transform your environment. Don't let your circumstances define you. You define your circumstances with your attitude, with your energy, and with your actions. And I think all of us here as adults can, can understand the simplicity of like, my attitude is a choice, right? If the only thing you hear me say today is when you go someplace, when you walk into a situation, when you're in your home, or at work, uh, you have a choice. You have a choice to either go, I'm going to choose to smile. I get to smile. I get to go to work. I get to change the environment. I'm going to have a positive attitude. You get to choose your attitude. You get to choose the energy you put forth in that situation. And you get to choose your actions. A lot of it has to do with the words that you speak. 
and the people that you're around and the things that you, like even your nonverbals, right? Are you bringing life to people or are you sucking it out of them? Are you bringing life to people or are you super crabby? Are you the hard boiled egg? Time to be the coffee bean. So I wrote a couple things down. Your choices matter. You have 100% control of how you handle situations when you walk in, right? It's a smile on your face. It's a hello, good morning. It's a, hey, how can I help you? It's seeing things that need to be done and taking action. It's uh, being patient with people. It's watching your words. It's being encouraging and not degrading. And I would say all of that starts with how you start your morning. So if you're like, I don't want to. I don't want to go to that job. I don't want to be the happy person. Well, guess what? You should get up in the morning and have a better attitude about yourself and your home environment and your own mindset. You can go into other places when you fill up your own, when you fill your soul, right? When you get up and you go, today, I'm going to choose to be joyful. I'm going to sit for five seconds before I get out of bed or as I'm brushing my teeth or I'm going potty or I'm making my coffee or I'm drinking my ketones and I'm going to say five things or three things or 10 things or even just one thing that I'm thankful for. What are you thankful for? I'm actually going to ask you that right now. Share with me below if you haven't done it today or even if you have. What is one thing you're thankful for? I need you to share with me. I am thankful for the Keto Mom community. I'm thankful for all the friendships that I've made online, which some people think like, how in the world could you make friendships online? I have, and I actually visited some of those friends in Tennessee this last week, and it was amazing. So I'm thankful for you. Uh, what are you thankful for? How do you become the light? How do you become the coffee bean in environments and situations? You start off your morning with an attitude of gratitude. Whether you need to get out a journal or just start speaking things you're thankful for as you're walking around your home or you're in the car, it's important. Also, how you start your morning. Are you turning on the news or are you listening to somebody that inspires you? Are you listening to garbage music? Are you listening to something that will fill you up? Are you listening to things that will inspire you or make you angry? Are you watching things that will put your mindset and the rest of your day on track to inspire others, or are you already in a negative mindset because of the world? Turn that television, television off and listen to something that's going to inspire you. That was funny, huh? That was great. I know. All right. Uh, yes, I'm going to read a couple more things to you. I hope that gives you something to think about. All right. Be a big dose of vitamin C instead of a germ. Your energy is contagious and every day you have a choice to affect people with your positive energy or infect people with your negative energy. You can be a germ or you can be vitamin C. Decide to be vitamin C. And the last thing that you can do to be a coffee bean, it's right here. It's a smile. Anytime that you walk in, you guys, I do this, we do this all the time. My kids and I love to go to the store and just smile at people because most people walk around like this. And sometimes I'll say to my kids, if you're happy and you know it, tell your face, right? I don't actually say that to people I don't know, but I like to go like this. Hi. That doesn't hurt anybody. But you want to know what a smile does? He says, did you know that when you smile, your brain produces serotonin, which is an antidepressant. And when you smile at somebody, they produce more serotonin in their brains as well. Just by smiling at somebody, you're helping them and helping yourself. So whatever, whatever the job is, remember, you are also a pharmacist and you get to give a smile that creates serotonin in people's brains and changes the state that they're in. It really is, it really works. So if you're feeling crabby and you are like, listen, the, the only thing I know that can change my state and then I can go into the environment and be the coffee bean is put on a smile, you force that smile because it's going to change what your brain is thinking. So I need you all to try it right now before I end this live. Stop for a second. Even like if you're watching me, you're doing the dishes, you're sitting in the car, you're at work, take a deep breath and put out a big smile. <laughs> that was a crazy smile, but for real, you can't help it. It's like your body goes, oh, I like this. Oh, she or he is happy. Oh, we can do this. Oh, we're changing our state. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do this. All right. Did you all smile? Say yes to me. Maybe put a smiley face in the comments. It's going to change 
you and other people around you. It will help you become a coffee bean. So we'll continue just to share these as we go throughout. I think that we'll just read one of these a day to help remind you for you to be a coffee bean as you go into environments because we are going to start this book, but this is something fun. And then we're going to dive into habits, uh, systems, your identity, like, okay, I get it. I need to eat healthy, but how do I actually see myself as a healthy person? That's this book. It's going to be incredible. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. Your presence matters. If you press the share button, you have to let me know that you shared below because what we did is we clicked on all the shares and we had Ashley Porter is the winner of this book today. So tag a friend below, say, hey, you should join the Keto Mom community. It's not just about keto. It's about mindset and all things in life. It will help you become a better person. Uh, press the share button. Let me know that you shared. We'll do another uh, drawing tomorrow. Um, thanks for tuning in. Your presence matters. I appreciate it. I like seeing your comments. Uh, and I will hop on later today and give you a keto tip. And there's lots of recipes to share. So you can always go to ketomomsecrets.com. Send me a message. I'm here to help. Have a wonderful day. Go grab some ketones. They're super great. You can post trial in the comments if you've never tried them. They make me smile. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, everybody.